Bow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today is Friday. So, as I said before, I want to start doing specific videos that go over music resources, tools, and sometimes tactics and strategies on Fridays. And today, we are going to talk about a muse. They're described as the world's first mobile record company, Will I Am, from the Black Eyed Peas, is one of the co-founders, and they're looking to sign artists. Before I hop into this video, I want to say shout out to Tuco from Music ID TV because Music ID TV is where I first heard about Amuse. So, a mobile record company, what exactly does that mean? Well, Amuse is an app that you can download right onto your phone, Android and iOS. They got both of them. If you're one of those people who have one of those weird other things like the Nokia app store, I'm sorry. We just might have to have a talk about your life decisions. But again, for Android and Apple, you guys can download it for free. And what they do is distribute your music to any of these platforms in the same way that TuneCore does, in the same way that CD Baby does, and a lot of these other music distribution platforms do, except they do it for free. That alone sounds amazing, and you know the company's credible because it has Will I Am behind it, so you know it's nothing sketchy. And then an additional benefit from that is you get all kinds of data that they provide to you also for free. Now let's talk about them wanting to sign artists. How will they sign artists? What they're doing is actually looking at the data. So you get this data for free, but they're basically using the platform as a digital A&R. They're looking for the artists who are winning on that platform and the ones who are having success on that platform, they will look to sign those artists. All I can say is as an artist, I would get on sooner than later if I am going to make that move because what you find these companies do is they're looking for successes they're looking for proof of concept when a company is young desperate and trying to you know prove to the world their concept is valid and a plus there's going to be less competition on the platform so if you get on now they're going to have more incentive to help you out if you are one of those artists that bubble up and a plus there's going to be less artists that you have to compete with on that platform another cool benefit is if you get signed by them you keep the rights to all of your music they're signing licensing deals for you so it's really a new age type of record label they're not re really trying to take hold of you as an artist in your music but really they're almost like a bro in my mind well they'll be helping you get strategic deals with brands and just finding other ways to monetize your music and they'll likely be taking a cut of the profits which of course makes sense right they're doing a service for you and they want to benefit as well and then another additional thing for the people who actually get signed is they get free access to will I am's I think it's called the future studio which is basically like a music studio but you can also get video shot there and you can also get apps and things like that developed so of course that's super beneficial official for you to have all kind of creative things so for anybody who's still finding it a little bit confusing this is a basically what Amuse is they're basically a free distribution service now if you're looking and comparing them to TuneCore, CD Baby and the many other ones right there I know you're like man how can they be free because we all know people need money well let's think about it this way TuneCore doesn't take any of your music but it's kind of off a philosophy of we know that most of y'all are going to fail so we just want to charge y'all more and get our money up front if you win Congratulations. And then a company like Amuse is basically saying that we're gonna give you guys this service. They're creating a platform that really enables them to sift through the dirt to find the huge diamonds in a rough. They don't wanna invest in any of that small stuff. They just wanna find that diamond. And once they use the platform to find the artist that's most likely that diamond, they invest in them, pick them up, and then off to the races. Each of them have a way of getting their cut and they're all a lot better than the old ways as far as artists dealing with record labels and just getting their music out there. Anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys. What do you guys think? Are you going to use a muse? That's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.